All right. I have a topic. You have a topic? Yeah, I have a topic. What is your topic? So, um... Like a topical rash? Well, <laughs> no. If it's just dry skin. It's just dry skin. It's cold. Mom says everyone has it. <laughs> um, no, uh, with... I, I imagine with Thanksgiving this week... Yeah, I want recording, we, not of uh, upload. Yeah, well, I figured we could do this one for Friday. It will oh. be Black Friday when this episode okay. comes out. Happy Black Friday. So, because of that, I think... Cozy, did you ever work retail? Yes. Okay, so... Yeah, you I, worked at GameStop. Oh, okay. GameStop and Office Depot. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I forgot about Office Depot. So, I figured um, if you, we could share, like, either Black Friday stories or weird... <laughs> customer right. service stories um in honor of this capitalist holiday you guys start cozy you are you sure i you don't have i don't so i my you reta- never really you never really worked in like i didn't work sales very much i did waitering and then i worked at uh, and i did a 7-eleven Gotcha. He was, yeah, he we wasn't, still, he wasn't in like the consumerism part of Yeah. Like 7-Eleven, yeah. we still got Black Friday people because mm-hmm. I worked the midnight shift and I would see people like strolling in at like 2 a.m. for fucking coffee and it was like a soccer mom and I'm like, this is not where you're supposed to be. <laughs> you're not my usual drug... Well, you might be the drug riddled whatever, but yeah. you're not oh my, my usual drug riddled whatever. Stored- you're not my short man buying tall boys. <laughs> oh God, that was so golden. <laughs> um, No, I have stories of like just crazy things that i have seen mm-hmm. and dealt with because i worked third shift at a 7-eleven yeah. but um i don't not have, really like it's I'd, not really like what like the retail experience yeah though. so i was wondering if you had so cozy if you have you have like the same thing anyone who's worked at a gas station has had yeah you know, exactly like, yeah, yeah. Oh. so, so wh- cozy, what do you what got is, cozy what is your your sneering and you, snickering you, like, and you can grinning. do a couple because i'm also gonna do a couple so okay go ahead. okay so one of my favorite and like most hated but also you can look back on it now fondly. Yes. Uh, memories of Black Friday. It is my first Black Friday, and all I know is that they are horrible, and understandably so. Um, and this was when I worked this particular Black Friday at Office Depot. This is when a lot of stores were starting to kind of do the Black Weekend thing. Okay. Does is Office Depot? I don't ever go to Office Depot. Well, Office Depot at like anything. Do they have like like goods like sales? Like I don't know what the. Like, yeah, they go to. They office. would have like the same kind of deals you see dude, at Best Buy. Know, like, here's your op- computer. It's four hundred dollars. They sell off. computers at Office Depot. Yeah. Yes. Oh, because you use computers in an office. I just literally would Fucking go there idiot. for school supplies. So, as far as my knowledge is concerned, Office Depot just sells three ring binders and notebooks. Oh, Office Depot is where I got my tech start. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you a Black Friday shopper? Out of curiosity. Um. Not particularly. Okay. Like, there's been a couple of times where, like, I've gone out and saw, like, oh, you know what? That's a that's thumb the, drive that's that a really was good deal. twenty bucks. Now it's two. I'll buy it. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Um, but otherwise, I haven't really been tempted or had the money to really do it. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first Black Friday, and this is when they're starting to do like the Black Weekend thing. Now, on this particular year, this is when some flooding happened to hit. Um started to hit like m- fuck i think it was like malaysia somewhere oh, around there oh you're talking about where like all the microprocessors didn't have like the, the raw materials they need there was a shortage on that uh, stuff there was a shortage for hard drives specifically yeah um because like all the flat all the factories were flooded and damaged and so like the world supply of hard drives were really really low uh despite that we still had some on reserve and we had them on sale for like more than half off and we had a very limited supply. They sold out almost immediately on Friday. Sunday afternoon. Man comes in. Uh, one of those stuffed shirt, suit, and tie. Son is listening to headphones and not Meeks. giving a shit. One of those type of middle-aged white dudes, right? Okay. He comes in and he's like, hmm, uh, I want one of my hard drives. I would like to buy one. One of my hard drives? Yeah. He kept on. He used the word my He hard kept drive. on using my. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. So, I don't know, I was like, oh, sorry, uh, we don't have any in stock right now. We ran out on Friday. Well, why didn't you order more? But it's mine. <laughs> why didn't you order more? I was like, oh, well, you know, uh, one, we don't get shipments on Sundays. And it's the Lord's Day. 
<laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> and two, and then I explained the flooding situation, that we already had a diminished stock to begin with. And this guy doesn't even take a moment to hesitate, looks back at me and goes, so you're telling me that because those Borientals are a little wet, I can't get my hard drive? And I was like, Wetter than your wife, sir. Yes. Oh, Ooh. Uh, th- uh, it's a little. It's a little more than wet, sir. Like people are displaced and dying. Uh, he's like, whatever. I'll just go to Best Buy. I guess you just lost the sale. And he like just cocked out and strutted off. And like he talked to my manager probably about how I was a piece of shit. Because then my manager came over. He's like, hey, what happened with him? What's his problem? <laughs> I told him because generally, <laughs> like my customer service is good. So, and I explained the situation. He was like, oh, fuck them then. <laughs> I like when, I, for anybody, when you have the inkling to be like, you just lost a customer, guess what? Probably not going to care. I've yeah. got. That's never been a. 10,000 th- more, yeah, sir. Yeah, there's. <laughs> that's never been a threat that like, like clearly that person, I always assume I'm like, oh, you've just never worked customer service ever in your life. Oh, yeah. Because that is never a threat that will work yeah. ever. What do you think I'm going to do? Your money doesn't dictate my paycheck, sir. I had a guy who said that to me because I wouldn't sell him beer after 2 a.m. Because it's against the yeah. law. <sighs> it's against the law. They know that. And yet they're like, come on, man. You can ring out. I'm like, honestly, I can't. Registers don't. Won't even do it. Won't yeah. even do it. Well, you just lost a customer. No, I didn't. I mean, sure, but no, right, I didn't. See you tomorrow, Fred. Yeah, like, and yeah. yeah, and it was. I'm like, all right, so you're you, gonna you're gonna walk to the other one, or sorry, ride your bike, because yeah, you know you don't want. <laughs> and I'm assuming you don't want cigarettes then either. Yeah. Oh no, you still want you still want cigarettes. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> see at see at seven a.m. sharp, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeff, you are, are we gonna are we gonna back back and forth? We can back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Oh, uh, let's see. Not not really a fun story. Um, <laughs> this is, yeah, no, this isn't like a, there's no like zinger to this. This is just describing one of my Black Fridays. <laughs> this is oh. just a nightmare. Uh, so our friend's dad died like th- four days before. Mm-hmm. And so my Black Friday that, you know, not, okay, like. Was this a coworker? No, this was, this was like a personal friend their father okay, died. Okay, all right. Uh, and this isn't going to be like, a, oh, yeah, their father died. But, like, listen to how much my day sucked. But, you know, just explaining how my Black Friday went. I go in at, like, 3 in the afternoon on Thanksgiving. Don't do Thanksgiving. Just go straight to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, to, like, get set up and do everything. And I think we had, like, a tiny little potluck with the employees that we all brought stuff. Because we were like, well, this sucks. So let's do something. Yeah, my friend's dad just died. Oh, well, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't derail my big sad thing <laughs> what do you think you are me so it did feel i felt like you for a minute i was like oh, that, I, don't want, I don't like this yeah you gotta really acclimate to it <laughs> can we make that into a ska band yes yeah, so, all right your friend's so, dad died you're eating dad, yeah, we're, you know so it was like three p- so three p.m on thanksgiving right mm-hmm. i'm there i work for 13 hours okay I maybe had like a 15 minute break somewhere in there. Okay. Uh I I leave that shift. Mhm. Now, normally this is the part where you go home. Yes. I did not do that. Why? Because I walked across the mall to GameStop and I did a seven and a half hour shift there. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they never paid me. Oh. Cuz they never put me in the system. Oh. Even though I worked there before and was already in the system they just had to flip the switch and they didn't do that so none of it got tracked so they did not pay me oh that's some dirty business so after seven and a half hours ish i leave if this is all at a mall so i go over i get some panda express for breakfast (laughs) at like fucking nine in the morning or some shit happy thanksgiving yeah well it's black friday now happy black friday uh, I have 45 minutes to go there, do that, and then go back to my actual normal job, which was Fossil, which was the first shift that I had that night, and then go from that until the end of business that day. Man, I, bing. I then I then left that, <laughs> and I went to a funeral. <laughs> then we went to a wake, 
afterwards where I ordered a vo- well vodka screwdriver, sat down, the alcohol hit my tongue, and I collapsed into the table in front of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was sleepy. It was almost a double funeral. Yeah. Shit, that was... Like, I worked a 24-hour, like, Black Friday, I, but damn, it was, that's... It was 27 hours across 30 hours. Yeah. I worked at the factory. I did a 24-hour shift once. I walked, like, they, they they needed people to do that, and I was like, I'm down. It's going to be all overtime. But the problem I didn't, fa- I failed to calculate was that I did so much overtime that I bumped into the next tax bracket and saw almost none of that money. <laughs> so that was fun. But <laughs> as I was leaving. That's why we need to stop taxing those who make more money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as I was leaving, I drove, I was driving to a gas station that I always went to. I was picking up a pack of cigarettes. And this guy was like, hey, man, you don't normally, the guy know, knows me. And he's like, you don't normally work Saturday. And I was like, you're right. Remember when I saw you yesterday morning? He goes, yeah. And I'm like, and then you finished your shift. And then you went home. And he goes, yeah. And then I was like, then you went to bed. Then you woke up. You putzed around the house a bit. You watched a little bit of porn. Ate some breakfast. Did your normal morning routine. He's like, yeah. I was like, and then you came to work. And then, you know, you rounded out your shift. And that's when you see me. And he goes, yeah. I'm like, I was working that whole time. And he's like... (laughs) watching him just calculate that he's like oh my god he's like what he had like a whole snippet of life happen yeah (laughs) (laughs) like i really painted the picture for him because i feel like when you're in like early 20s and you're just like yeah i can just do that i can just fucking go you're able to pull that off and not die like you're a little like oh man whoo yeah Nice hard day's work. Yeah. <laughs> no, my 24 hour. Like, that's what I really w- wish I. I wish I could have had a job in my 20, like in my early 20s, mm-hmm. where I could have worked the way that I actually, like, my body could have let me. Yeah. Where it's like, you're going to work for like three days straight, and you're going to get your entire 40 hours done in those three days. And then I'll see you in like four days like yeah. just i want to work that i want to get my 40 and done but i do it all in like one fucking massive thing and then just fuck off for like a couple days yeah that's i wish the world would work like that a lot of countries are actually switching over to similar systems because it's found that that's more efficient i believe that yeah. because then you get more days to actually like fucking take a nap and get your shit done Dude, I worked four days a week for a while. That was incredible. Yeah. That was like, great. Um, A lot of countries are switching over to four-day work weeks just because of the fact that, like, you can get all the shit that you need to do at home done in three days, rest up, so that way you're not stressing out about it at work, and then when you come back to work, you're not stressed. It doesn't work as well productive. with... It doesn't work as well with physical labor, though. It... Because physical labor, and I, and I, I can attest to this, when you're older and you're doing physical labor and you have to do physical labor for that amount of time and then you get that long period of rest and then you have to go do it again your body just does not it's like a ricochet yeah like. it does not bounce back from that your your rest is recovery and right as your body's like all right we're good you're gonna just do that all again and your body's like fuck now i'm gonna tense up i'm gonna you're gonna pull a muscle you're gonna get hurt oh for sure like Indi- every industry is different like yeah uh uh Forrest's dad he he was a brain surgeon he was a neurosurgeon and he did two weeks on call and sometimes he would be at the hospital that entire two weeks just surgery after surgery just, after surgery ugh, hate and then to just be two like, weeks completely off god i would hate to be like I, day 14 brain surgery uh, <laughs> and i guess that's just what worked for him and well, like do you have that. any questions for the doctor before we uh, before we put you under yeah when's the last time you've seen your house <laughs> <laughs> yogurt <laughs> yogurt <laughs> you oh. know what i've earned this doctor <laughs> 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 all right so we we all the premium health insurances they go in the first <laughs> of the week <laughs> all medicaid you get day uh, 14. <laughs> so we're going to have you in for the uh, the 15th. Oh, uh, that doesn't work. Can we do the, can we do like later that week be like uh, we can do like the 28th. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, I only have one Black Friday story of actual doing, and it's only me being shitty. <laughs> was it? It was to Nick. when I took you. Yeah, I went, went to Best Buy. <laughs> I went to. I I had a slew. I was. I went and I picked him up from his mom's house. So after there's Thanksgiving like night. Okay, so me. All right, let me clarify. Me and Jeff have gone Black Friday shopping like what three years? Several. Yeah, yeah several couple years. years at least. Um, when I was drinking, mm-hmm. what would end up happening would be, my sister pre pre me going and shopping with Jeff like in years previous, she would get me drunk. Mm-hmm. on thanksgiving she would be like robert here drink drink some wine and i'd be like all right and then like a bottle or t- three later i'd be like yeah you know what i think i will go black friday shopping that doesn't that doesn't sound too <laughs> bad at like, all great well she'd, let's go she'd be like i do need a stethoscope yeah and she would basically she used me to like i'm not big but drunk i'm gonna still make my way through a crowd He's gonna stumble and just like shove everyone yeah. out of her way so she would just point to things in a coals and I would just go get it. <laughs> she would just like follow like, like a fucking golden retriever. Yeah, just like about go the get mental that. Capacity as a golden retriever. Yeah, like Eric wants <laughs> that that sweater. Go get it. All, All right, right, Rob. Rob, go get it. Yeah, Rob. Rob. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> so like that that happened. Then Oof. one year I got <laughs> she got me drunk and then decided I'm not gonna go Black Friday shopping. I'm gonna do it online. And then Jeff called me. <laughs> and was like, do you want to go Black Friday shopping? And I was like, I'm, well, I'm drunk. already drunk. So. Sure. This seems to be the routine. I threw up in a seat, a Walgreens parking lot. <laughs> it was, it was all wine <laughs> it was and a- crushed ice that he was eating because he knew that he wasn't feeling well. <laughs> it was just So it literally, it literally just like fucking came out as like a, it looked like a frozen margarita or some <laughs> shit. Like, it looked like he just vomited a Slurpee. <laughs> It's a purple stain in the Walgreens. It's park. still there. Well, <laughs> 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 like you can just you can still see like the discoloration. So yeah, I just in front yeah. of the door and like twenty feet to the left. So that that was one year. The next year, I think I had quit drinking. That was like I my don't think fr- you'd quite quit drinking yet, but you were not drunk. Okay, I think that was that was like the fall right before you quit drinking. Oh no, you know what? It I wasn't. Don't. It wasn't. I had I had quit drinking because this was what two years ago. Okay. So I think I had just, I was just like I was probably like six months sober yeah. at that point, and Jeff's like, "Hey, let's go to Best Buy and get some things." And I was like, "Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go get something for my dad and stuff like that." And Nick is working. My uh, producer Nick, y- my brother. Yeah, producer Nick is working at Best Buy. And. We go and well, so was I, but I, yeah, I, I didn't have a shift until like the I think I closed that Black Friday. I was like, I'm gonna go get an iPad because they're super cheap. I'm standing in the iPad line, and now I'm at the point where I'm not drunk, which arguably makes this worse of what I do throughout the course of this night, stone sober. I'm just like brain dead at this point, and Nick, Nick walks up, and he's like. I see him running around. That was it. I saw Nick fucking st- like just like power walking, frantic yeah. with just how many cards. And I'm just standing in line with a ticket that says I get an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> and so Nick's, I'm like, hey Nick, and he just like fucking like dashes and he comes back and he's like, oh hey guys, and I was like, how's your diet going? And he's like, ugh, and I'm like, you're sweating, and that's all. <laughs> And I just looked at him and just, you're sweating. And he's like, <laughs> like, he wants to be mad at me as I'm just calling him out. But he knows you're just a little dumb right now. Yeah. <laughs> so then he just like, all right, bye. And he just like fucking storms off. So then I get my iPad and we're like, you know what? We like second and Charles. Let's go over to second and Charles. So we drive over to second and Charles. Turns out second and Charles is not having a Black Friday um sale they're just they're just open they're just open it's just nine o'clock second and charles is like a uh it's like a chain of like resell shops yeah and i don't do you remember what i said because i don't remember exactly but i know it was really shitty oh. and it was just inadvertently shitty 
it was it was it was bad. It was something to the effect of I we walked in, there's the guy standing behind the counter who's just done. Yeah. <laughs> and I was not reading that vibe at all. You really weren't. And he's just like, uh, and I'm like, are you guys open? And he's like, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Cause this is really dead outside and everywhere else is like super busy. And he's like, yep. I was like, oh, okay. Well, cool. We're going to go shop some. And then we just like fucking like walked through. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I wish I could remember. Oh you said something God. and he had some kind of retort that was made the equivalent of fuck you and everything about you right now. Yeah. Like, because Rob said something that, like, it, it definitely, like, would have pissed me off if I was on hour nine of a Black Friday shift. It wasn't. No, because they were dead. And, oh, that was it. They were closing. He goes, oh, yeah, it's just a Thursday for us. We don't do Black Friday. So we're just closing. And I was like, oh, well, then we'll be quick. <laughs> it was something <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh it my was, God, Rob. It was so, I was just like in a fucking, I don't know what it is. You were just nasty that night. I what? yeah, like I just. Nothing was even wrong. You were just sick like. Sick nasty. That was just what you were doing. I think it's just the mood of all the people around me that I just, it like. Mood of all the people. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it puts me in a mood. But not like, but I'm not. It, it like has you on the defensive. Yeah. Or like, I can't compute how much is going on. So I just kind of like go into my own little like world. Mm-hmm. And then I don't read what other people are, like, throwing at me. <laughs> and so I just respond in, like, this really aloof, like, non-aggressive way, but it just comes off s- shitty because I have poor word choices sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So I guess to, like, wrap it up, what are each of yours, like, worst, absolutely worst Black Friday story? Like is or is uh, that yours, Jeff? The the twenty seven. Yeah, just just the overall, just how that thing went. <laughs> Do you have all right? What's your worst customer experience story? <sighs> oh, uh, you know, I don't. I, I I couldn't like sit and tell you what the worst one was. I will tell you what my. I'll go the opposite. I'll tell you what my favorite one was. Good enough. Uh, so I also worked at Best Buy and I worked in the home theater department. But like I was, I was knowledgeable enough to like. You know, kind of like working like if they were short staffed in somewhere i could go over and like process a couple people if there were a lot of people trying to get help and like you know only three people to help them so i was, it was i was maybe like halfway through my shift and when i was at when i was there i wasn't like one of the like top sales people or whatever but i had really good service so like we would always talk about my numbers, but, like, I was doing well enough in every other area that, like, it was never, like, a concern of, like, me being let go or anything. If mm-hmm. anything, maybe I had, like, one less shift a week, but I, I could live with it. Uh, so, we have the little headsets across the floor. So, we'll, like, page each other, like, uh, and so my team lead in the home theater department goes... Hey, uh, Jeff, are you free right now? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, I got a customer. I'm taking off, and I, I think I think you need to be the one who handles them, for what, you know, once I leave. And I'm like, okay. So I head over, and uh, it's this kind of, like, middle-aged woman, uh, kind of short squat, uh, short haircut. Uh, not, like, nasty-looking, but, like, rough, rough-looking. Like, she was still nice, but, like, you could tell just, like, she's a little haggard. Um, and so he's, like... So uh, you know, you know, she's picking out a couple things. Uh, she's kind of shopping for her son right now, and uh, the lady goes, "Well, that's not." And he's like, "All right." And he kind of looks around and he looks at me and he goes, "So her son just got off a 13-year prison sentence," <laughs> and he's like, "And she's just looking for someone to help her uh, shop to uh, get his new home set up a little bit." And I'm like, oh, like that. Okay, no, I can. Yeah, I'm like, that's not a problem. That's not gonna be. A, I'm totally comfortable doing that. It's totally fine. And he's like, yeah, I figure. He's like, that's why I picked. Like, wanted you to come over. He's like, I didn't think that that would bother you. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. And so I'm I'm talking with the woman, and we're like shopping for TVs, and I'm not really noticing just because we're kind of like shooting the shit and also just like shopping on stuff. But like, her basket at some at a certain point, I'm like, we have like. Eighteen thousand dollars worth of things in her in her cart right now, and I'm slowly kind of piecing together that like she's not really checking the tags and everything like that. And I'm like, oh, oh, her son, her son went away for something big, and he had a lot of money when he got out. (laughs) 
So, <laughs> uh, there was this uh, this tiny little girl who worked in uh, in my department with me, and the the options for him to like have someone help her were me and her, and he was like this this tiny little girl. I just don't th- like does not have the constitution to like help this woman properly, knowing that. Mm-hmm. So. I'm sitting there and we're like looking stuff up on the computer so that I can like check a couple, like compare a couple prices and stuff like that for things that we were going to order and have like sent to the house because I think we were hooking up with like Comcast and stuff. And so we're kind of just like talking and shooting the shit. And w- she starts explaining that like her other son like hits her and stuff. Like, and it's, it's not like, it's not like weird. Like it kind of naturally came up in the conversation. Like we're just talking and it just over the three hours i had already spent with her it just had gotten to this point and i was like well it's okay because jared or whatever his name is you know you know james james is out you know he, he can uh, he can he can keep you safe <laughs> and we both just start cracking up <laughs> and i happen to look over at the girl who is already the palest thing ever and i'm like watching her skin turn inside out <laughs> hearing it hearing this conversation that we're having <laughs> and so <laughs> We're, we're getting everything set up. This has gotten to the point. I'm at like $31,000 on this one transaction. This is li- this is basically my metrics for a two-month period at this point. Yeah. Um. So she's like, I don't, I don't know his address or anything. She's like, can we, can we call him just to like let him know what we got going on and everything like that. And I'm like, yeah, put him on. Totally fine. I was like, I, I was like, why don't I just call him with the company thing so that, you know, if you're, so you know, we're not using all your cell phone battery and stuff like that. So I'm on the company line. I call him out. And we're talking and everything. And every, like, five or six minutes, you hear just like, dur, 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 dur. and he's like, fuck. And, and it was because he kept, <laughs> going, he kept going to the side of his house where the tether was going off. <laughs> And it was honestly, it's one of my favorite memories ever working retail because it was just such a cool experience talking to this guy and realizing, like, you were away for literally half of my life at that point in time. He was gone for, like, 13, 14 years was his sentence. And so when I'm like, well, look, I was like, I don't know what it really means to you, but, like, we have this rewards program. And if I sign you up now, you're going to get, like, a $1,200 gift certificate in, like, 30 days that you can, you know, anything that didn't get covered today, you can, you know, I was, I was like, I know, you know, you can't really come in here, but, like, you can go online and, like, you can't leave the house. That's why his mom's there shopping. And I was like, you can just go online with the internet that we're also hooking you up with. And uh, you can, you can, you know, get, or get some movies for all this cool stuff that we're setting you up with. Anything like that. And he's like, okay. I'm like, I was like, so I just got a, you know, a little bit of information. Best number to reach you. Okay, put that in. What's your email address? He's like, yeah, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I was just like, oh my. Like, that was such a fucking, like, I try not to be one of those, like, oh, everyone, like, what do you mean you don't know what Instagram is? But, like, an email address. This guy never had an email address. I mean, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, like, like, and it just, like, because, like, I asked, so just, like, because, like, you're programmed when you're in retail, like, it's your phone number, what's your email address? Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't have one of those. And I was like, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, that's real. That actually is happening. <laughs> so I was like, do you have any internet access right now? He's like, yeah, I got a, I got hooked up with, like, a cricket, like, pay, pay phone for a minute. And I was like, let's get you an email address. <laughs> <laughs> just got him, like, a cool little Gmail and shit like that. And then as we're ringing it, everything up, and I was like, okay, so, like, with everything, he's like, just protect the whole thing, get all the fucking little metric points and shit like that. Like, I sold all the insurance and everything. I'm having a good old day. We're at, like, $37,000. <laughs> and he's and I was like, so, yeah, that's going to be, uh, you know, that's all your TV and stuff like that. We got all good surround sound. We're going to have people come set it up for you. We hit, I'm going to have AT&T, I think, is what we got them, like internet and everything set up for like a week from now and you're just gonna like you're gonna you're literally this is all gonna blow you're your entering mind entering into the 21st century yeah. in one foul purchase seriously and so i was like and you know so just, and so you're looking at about you're looking at thirty seven thousand dollars right now and he's like okay okay he's like but like what else what else do you like what else has happened i was like <laughs> I, he's, he's like he's like i get the internet that happened he's like you're saying all these like you can just like watch tv through the internet now he's like I'm g- i get all that i understand what you're saying but he's like but that's just like tv he's like what else do you guys have that would blow my mind and i'm like do you remember 
like RC helicopters. He's like, yeah, it never really worked. I'm like, well, we got this thing now called drones. <laughs> <laughs> and that was honestly the thing out of everything we talked about. That was what blew his mind the most is because I was explaining like how they're perfectly balanced. You can fly them perfectly with almost no experience and like 10 minutes of practice. And then I was like, and then you, and the moment he got excited was, when I was like, and then you can put like a camera on it. So like you can just like fly it up and like look around a little bit. He's like, oh, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> So I hooked him up with like a twenty-two hundred dollar drone, three GoPros to put on it. Oh, homie's getting back in the game. <laughs> yeah. But and like, like I said, like, it, but in no way is a bad experience. That was like one of my, one of the best days of my life. It was just like such a memorable experience so, for me. So to like weirdly tie it into anime because it's, it, I'm, I'm g- I we know. have to. Yeah, it's obligatory. It's in the contract. Um, but. Because we were watching Dr. Stone, and okay. you've been, like, really big on Dr. Stone. Yeah, and I've been reading it for yeah. a little while, since a little before the anime started. And for a little, like, context, Dr. Stone is basically, like, what if a genius got thrown into, like, a prehistoric time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not exactly what the plot There's is. There's no technology in the world, but yeah. this dude knows all of the technology from present day Earth. Yeah. And I was like, you know, because he's like, oh, we got to do, like, this like we're gonna cure we're gonna like make like a vaccine because we can do we that antibiotics yeah antibiotics because i know how to do that it's like of chapter 15 or some shit yeah and i was like all right well i get all that i'm like but i want like the things that i want i like the most are like the random ass things that we have developed as a society that like makes no would make absolutely no sense to somebody who hadn't like watch the evol- the technological evolution like planes make sense because plane is like you want to fly and you, you want to get places fast and we have birds and that's incredibly we can practical. see you can birds. model it after that yeah, yeah we okay we it makes sense of how we did that oh we made a submarine oh like a fish it goes underwater but like what's like the weird disconnect of things which Jeff showed me a, a, a chapter of or a panel of I Dr. Him, Stone I, sh- I showed him a page out of Dr. Stone where do you care, like, because it, it leads into what he was ultimately building. How much do you want me to say? I, I, know I just want to, I just want to say just the, the item. thing that, okay. So the, the panel is like, okay, so for this next thing, we're going to prepare a couple things. And he's like, but we still need to reinvent the most crucial part of this. And again, I'm not going to say what this was supposed to build towards, but just like very grandiosely is just like, we're going to reinvent the fidget spinner in fucking like. Oh, Stone Age. Because it's such a random ass thing that we have invented. Is he making a generator? He is not. He has already I, done that. Does oh. it, doesn't matter. <laughs> not relevant. The, the, you want to keep guessing? The cozy. It's <laughs> it, it is not relevant. Cozy hasn't had anything to say in a while. I want to give him this. What else? What else are your guesses? I g- I got nothing at the moment. Okay, let me know. So cozy is there a thing that you could think of that is uh, not equivalent to a fidget spinner but just like a random piece of technology that is in our everyday life that makes absolutely like without context would just be the weirdest bananas thing that like but that you would still want yeah so like i feel like a phone is also another like not like a cell phone but like what our phones do like taking like flashlights on it like why don't you just have a flashlight oh because i have a flashlight on this why do or we don't use clocks anymore why don't you use a clock because i have my phone like it's such a weird disconnect like we don't tell time anymore based on like you don't have to be able to read an analog clock yeah like oh i just pull out my phone and my phone tells me what time it is that's a weird disconnect to like Without the context of it. So you're looking for something that's, like, ingrained and that, like, before it it was around, we had to do something totally different? Maybe. I mean, I guess that would work, too. It's just, I don't know, like, just weird. Like, if I was a person from, like, the 1700s, if I was George Washington and I was thrusted upon... Oh, I have a better... I have a perfect example. Um, It was actually in a... Uh, X Men comic when they pull the oh when they pull the X Men from the sixties back I know in, what you're saying and Cyclops goes to a convenience store and he's like why is all the water bottled what happened to the water 
Why don't we? Why do we have all the water in bottles? Why do we sell it? What happened Did to the water? Did they not bottled water in the sixties? No. Huh. But like that would be another thing. Why do we bottle water? What happened to the water? Oh, it's just this is water. This is better water. I'm sorry. I thought water, all water was good. You know what I mean? Like that kind yeah. of weird disconnect yeah. that our society has just made. That's completely something that normal. I always imagine. Like if you if you did like travel through time and you had like some Mountain Dew in your backpack or something <laughs> like that, yeah, and some. <laughs> Like an aboriginal from like 8,000 years ago sees you drink that and they immediately think you're going to get like poisoned and die because of what Mountain Dew looks like. <laughs> and then you just like you get a big smile and you're like, mm, I love that. And they're just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. You ever seen the movie uh, The Gods Must Be Crazy? Nope, because I don't watch movies. Yeah, I guess that's true. Is, <laughs> is it Van Helsing? N- is, <laughs> is, it, is it Van Helsing? No. Oh. Then, it, then Jeff hasn't seen oh. it. The, I've seen Air Bud. The movie is predicated around uh, like an, an African <laughs> tribe finds an old glass Coca Cola bottle. Okay. And they think that it's like a gift from the gods because oh. they can do so much with yeah, it. Yeah, they can like magnify oh, okay. and store things. Yeah, like they can they can make fire out of it, magnifying the light. Yeah. They can like roll things out. Um, and then it just tears this tribe apart. <laughs> it's like the glasses That's... with Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Yep. Did you not read Lord of the Flies? Did not read Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is like one of the few books I read in school that I actually really enjoyed. Did you read The Outsiders? Uh, The one with Emilio Estevez? Yeah. Yes, I did. And who uh, else was in that movie? I want to see how many of these you know, because like every fucking lead in that movie is a famous person. Emilio Estevez, uh, Rob Lowe, mm-hmm. um, Patrick Swayze. Yep. Tom Cruise isn't in that, Tom is he? Tom Cruise is Tom in Cruise. that movie. That was um, that was the one I wanted to see if you could remember because he's argue, arguably like the biggest name out of that. Uh, Tom Cruise, uh, was was Sheen in it? Was Charlie Sheen in it? No, he was not. I didn't think no, so. No, but Emilio Estevez was. So yeah, that's, that's you, why, you, like, you, he led with that. That was the your, one that you he got was, your like, Sheen quota. About. Yeah, that's that's the one I remember the most. Yeah, yeah. you got Estevez your eighty Sheen it. quota. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Matt Dillon. I don't even know who that is. Okay, uh, was he in Dogma? No, that's Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. Matt Dillon was in a lot of like early '90s movies, so like uh, reality or was it? Uh, it wasn't Reality Bites. Um, uh, singles. He was in Singles. He was in something about Mary with Ben Stiller. And anyway. oh, okay. And Ralph Macchio was in it. Oh, Ralph Macchio was the Ralph one. That fucking I the kid remember. from Crossroads. Yep. That's what? that's what Ralph Macchio is known for. The kid from for. Crossroads, the guy who defeats the devil in a who is played by Steve Vai in a in a guitar off. I'm looking to see if that's a thing. <laughs> Ralph Macchio's the Karate Kid, Cozy. I yeah, never but watched that's, cr- not, no, what, that's, that's not what Cozy's going to do. That's go Ralph towards. Macchio. That's Hillary Swank. Yep, that's the Karate <sighs> Kid. <laughs> Ralph Macchio's in My Cousin Vinny, which is like one of my favorite movies. Oh yeah. I fucking love that movie. That's like one that my mom showed me when I was like 13 when she was like, "Oh, you're old enough. You're old enough to start seeing adult yeah, movies." Adult movies yeah. and one of the first ones is My Cousin Vinny and that movie is fucking brilliant. With Aunt May. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. who somehow aged in fucking reverse. Backwards. Yeah. yeah. And Joe Pesci like it who aged like Joe Pesci <laughs> <laughs> who is always the same he hasn't aged he just looks like Joe Pesci he just always looked like that. like it's just it's like when you see pictures of Michael Caine from the 70s and it's just Michael Caine yep. like he hasn't changed his hair was darker Mr. That's Wayne it. yeah we have to kill the shock we got to kill the shock Mr. Wayne <laughs> Mr. Wayne Mr. Wayne Mr. You don't go and blow the bloody doors off <laughs> This is the only, uh, there's a movie called The Trip where it's, um, God, I can't remember. It's Rob something and, uh. Rob Lowe. No, it's a comedian. He's a British Rob comedian. Rob something and Rob Lowe. And, uh, God, why can't I? And, are you, and Steve are you talking Coogan. about the two, when they do the And they do the a Michael, Michael Caine, Caine off. Yeah, it's two oh. comedians doing their Michael Caine impressions and they're just sitting at dinner, just Michael Caining with each other. Yeah, that's I've I w- seen that clip on YouTube. I fucking, oh, it's so funny. That's sorry, it's got have, really derailed. So, I I, like, I'm, I'm, I, I know, you, I basically know that you haven't. Cozy, have you seen Joker? Uh, the one with the dude from Signs. Yes. Yep. No. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna until I can pirate it. 
Good. Until I can download it legally. Until you can stream it, right? <laughs> Until I can stream it <laughs> off of Netflix or something. I. That's what I meant. My old man wanted to see it, and so we. Oh, took you him. didn't go see Ford versus Ferrari? No, he ended. He ended up really wanting to do. Uh, That's the, weird. The that's such a weird thing for your dad to want. Well, cause cause it was also I think he he I think he knew that like overall because like it was me Nick and my dad and I think he was like that would for all three of us be a more enjoyable movie. I don't know. Ford vs Ferrari looks pretty I good. I still need to watch the current wars. Anyway, um, <laughs> but being of like internet whatever you want to call what I do and like you know seeing like reviews on the movie and stuff like that and having a general idea of like how it's going to be and also being a little more in tune with how like the men- the current mental health crisis and you know yeah. knowing that mo- that the movie is going to kind of tackle that um Nick and I were like f- were fully prepared for what that movie ended up being my dad <laughs> went in thinking this was going to be like like the Dark Knight level of like yeah, like uh, what do you want to call that? Like insanity from the Joker, mm-hmm. yeah, and like his antics and stuff like that, and just like watch like my dad was like sitting there like squirming and revolting through the entire movie, Ooh. and it was just so funny to me. <laughs> Why? What did no. he just not like about it? Didn't like the the subject matter. The subject matter made him really uncomfortable. Um. Everything that Joaquin Phoenix did made him really uncomfortable. Joaquin, like, I know the whole, like, eh, yeah, if a Joker Oscars, he wouldn't that be funny? I'll be real. Like, Joaquin Phoenix was fucking incredible. No, at like, that. that's. So here's every review that I've heard about it, and it's the reason I won't watch it. Not because I think it's a bad. It's because it has the, the problems with movies that I generally. Mm-hmm. W- it will. It will ruin what I imagine to be a good movie. Yeah. Which. And, and the director has even owned up to this. He said that we just let Joaquin, we didn't, we had a structure of a movie and then we just let Joaquin Phoenix do whatever he wanted and then kind of molded the movie around that. It was molding the movie around the actor and the character mm-hmm. than it was actually making a movie. Yeah. There, there, like, it was a, it was a character study, but that, which is really like the whole time they were talking about the movie before even they were like mm. really super into filming it seemed like what they wanted to do anyway yeah and that's just not my like i like character stories but i need a little bit more of a motivational factor yeah. than than just like joaquin phoenix was doing some cool stuff and we just filmed that you know yeah so i i will probably watch it if it comes out on like netflix or something like right, that right. i will i just didn't want to pay I would have paid to go see Ford versus Ferrari in all honesty, which it sounds like it's what your dad should have wanted to go see is Matt yeah. Damon and Christian Bale build fast no, cars. I, no, I think he needed, I think he needed to be uncomfortable in a movie theater for once. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he taking you to movie theaters where you have to be the uncomfortable one? Oh, no, no, his I mom just, has. No, I just think that, yeah, I fucking saw it. What did I, I saw a bad, bad teacher. teacher and horrible bosses with my mom like in late high school. <laughs> I saw it, which was not fun. I saw Scary Movie three with my mom. Like we went to the we went to the theater. It was one of those moments where we were in the mall and we just went, "Hey, can we go see a movie?" And she's like, "Yeah, sure. Let's. What's coming up next? Scary Movie three. Let's do that." That I had not watched like anything adult with my mom ever at that point like it was or it was like a crime movie it wasn't a comedy it was always like maybe maybe my cousin Vinny, where they just swear a bunch yeah but it wasn't like sex jokes and you know like more like vomiting and debauchery and all that stuff yeah, that's yeah. scary which grand scary movie three is not great i will argue that yours is i so <laughs> hor- l- l- let me all right bad teacher wasn't it's just <laughs> Is it that bad with your mom, or is it? Was it just? <laughs> I, I would I would watch horrible bosses with her again before I ever watch yeah. uh, Bad Teacher with it. Uh, oh, oh, the jeans on my jeans. jeans. Your oh. jeans feel so good on oh, my jeans. Oh, yeah. There is an entire very prolonged scene. Not it's like two minutes long, but it's of just they they spent that whole movie. The point of the movie was not to tell a story. It was not to show the um, the growth of the character played by uh, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. No, 
The point of that movie was to make Justin Timberlake as visually and emotionally unattractive as they possibly could. Visually? No. Visually, he's still mm. attractive. He's just, in the, in he the, looks like Justin Timberlake. When he's doing normal things, yes. Yeah. When it's just like they're at the school and he's standing in the lunchroom. He's very attractive in that. Yeah. And then Cameron Diaz takes him to a hotel when they have like a school field trip. And Justin Timberlake, in, in like, like I said, like a two minute scene, is they're dry humping each other through their clothes on the bed. Which Cameron Diaz is like, well, this is apparently as good as I'm going to get out of this guy for some reason. And he's just so fucking stupid and dumb into and it. awful at all of it. And so into it. <laughs> These are the movies that Jeff watches. I, 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 can, I can... I didn't pick that movie! <laughs> I can tell you that my most awkward time in a movie theater... I think you have told me. That you're, yeah. I don't know if Cozy's heard it. So... Uh, my mom was seeing a guy who was from yep. California. Uh, it was actually her first husband mm-hmm. before my dad. Um, and then when my parents got divorced, he was like, hey. And she was like, Sliding hey. them DMs. Um, so he Sliding was in town. Those prayers. He was in town. And I have my two younger sisters. And the, we all wanted to go to the movies. And Finding Nemo had come out. I think it was Finding Nemo. It was a Pixar or Disney movie or something like that. And my mom was like, oh, it's cool. I'll take the girls. And then uh, this guy she was dating can take uh, me to go see like a movie I want to watch, which I was like, hey, I liked The Matrix. Matrix Reloaded. That's Matrix 2. Why don't I just get more Matrix? That will be great. And he's like, yeah, no, that sounds great. And when they're in. How much time had you spent with this man up until the moment you sat down in that theater? God, probably like two days. Like. I barely yeah he's a relative stranger still a stranger yeah and I don't know if you're familiar with the Matrix Reloaded um but when they go to where the fuck is that place they go they, to the underground they club go, in Zion. They're, they're in Zion, Zion and they're yeah. c- and they're celebrating the yeah retrieval and of they're Neo. all having a crazy yeah. fucking awesome rave party and then to Keanu knock off Reeves, Darude Sandstorm yeah and then Keanu Reeves and whatever that other girl's name Trinity mm-hmm. go off and they're like hey. Let's bust this party. And then they have a full on fucking sex scene, which at that point, my brain was trying to just figure out what the fuck was going on with the two. Like, I couldn't tell because it's the Matrix. So my imagination as a child was like thinking it was like some weird pod or something because they kind of like the way that that shot is. It's pretty pulled back. Like it's pulled back and it's you're seeing pan, them at a like distance. Zooms in yeah, on them. it's cutting They're back in and a forth. weird like alcove in the wall. Yeah. yeah, and it's so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I realize, oh, they're doing the thing. And then I look over and there's just a perfect fucking stranger sitting next to me, and I'm like having to experience and deal with my very repressed Catholic upbringing of like we don't talk about sex we don't deal with sex and then this it was like a fucking existential crisis through the matrix and then there was those cool ghost guys yeah with the white dreadlocks and the like 11 minute fight scene of neo hitting people with a stick and running i remember yep. the running slam wall, the, stick, wall, the, stick the pole in the ground and then just wall like ride on grab Agent the pole Smith. and then spin in a circle while you run across all their faces why as don't they, they have fights you. like that anymore i need fight scenes like that in movies because the matrix because they're... got continuously worse and worse yeah but i mean like they did some stuff right well that <laughs> the, have you watched it again no the cg watch did it. not watch well i'm well sure the cg but like Wa- think about it, it again. now think about with our technology we have the technology to make that fucking dope if we did it in a, like an a movie now could you imagine if you had a thanos running on like 50 million iron mans that were in like <laughs> like tony stark brings in like all these iron the mans to sur- surround <laughs> thanos and then he does like he slams his fucking infinity fist into the ground and then just wall rides <laughs> on all of the fucking iron man that'd be dope be dope be dope <laughs> 